Are you looking to find some anime style models but not sure what to use? Well don't worry, because I'll be showing you 8 anime checkpoints in 6 minutes so you can spend less time reading and more time creating. I've chosen ones that give different styles so you can have some variety in your designs and some of these models will be a mix of safe for work and non safe for work so just be aware. I've also cooked up some example images using a fairly simple prompt on image to image so we can see what the checkpoint looks like out of the box on a consistent pose and take you from this to these. But enough chit chat, give it to me bite sized. So first on our list is Abyss Orange Mix 3 which is a popular checkpoint used for making high quality and realistically textured illustrations that relies on lighting and colour to sculpt the figure over sketch lines that define shape. There are some variations of this model that do different things so be sure to check them out. But I've done a quick render on the standard Abyss Orange Mix 3 so we can see it in action and it does give us this 3 dimensional effect created by smooth shadows that sculpt the overall form but there's that lack of line work that you would typically expect to see in anime style art resulting in an image that looks more like a 3D render than a drawing. Anything V5 is another brilliant checkpoint used for making anime style renders except this one leans more towards a brighter 2D style with line work and minimal shading achieving a more simplistic and minimal look. I've used our previous pose for another render and we can see that we're getting a bright sunlight with less shadows and shading which helped those muscles and folds pop in the previous example. This checkpoint will be good if you wanted something like Abyss Homage Mix 3 but much more closer to your typical anime. Flat 2D Animerge aims to achieve this art style that's a cross between marker and ink pens for a more cartoony look without that realistic effect and puts an emphasis on line work and cell shading. I threw it onto my character and there's this immediate heavy and noticeable line work that makes the character's form pop from the creases on the clothes to the areas of bone and fat. We also have this stylized look relying on that line work to define the form of the character and a nice red outline on the hair helping it pop from the darkened background. Rev Animated is another popular checkpoint giving us a more three dimensional and semi realistic art style but this checkpoint also comes with the ability to create 2.5D images which essentially means that there's this illusion of depth from the 2D image. I'll be honest in saying that I struggle to find any examples of this in action so I'll just recommend a checkpoint for its style. When I applied this to my character I got this nice semi realistic result that has the smooth shading that sculpts the character's form and something which stood out to me is the texture of the shirt looking very realistic when the light hits the thin layer of linen. And outside of the seven fingers this looks really good and it's definitely worth a download for projects that want a more realistic style of anime. Now this checkpoint called Free Delicacy Wonton is probably one of the most unique I've seen achieving a phenomenal art style as a cross between watercolour and calligraphy and reminiscent of a traditional Chinese painting. This can result in stunning portraits or vibrant landscapes that stand out from any other art style while maintaining that detail human hands might struggle to capture. On our character we can see how this is applied with the broader brushstrokes adding shadows and highlights alongside some hints of red being splashed around. We can see hints of the arm through the linen shirt and the brushstrokes creating that line work that helps define the character's form. I also wanted to show you Perfect Sketchbook which gives us a style drawn with chalk with a hint of watercolour capturing beautiful detail, vibrant colours and that rough sketchy line work that gives the pieces a lot of energy. On my render I've achieved a more simple chalk like design you may see someone do in a life drawing class or when capturing commuters on a busy street while sitting in a cafe. It's the imperfection of the bus strokes that really make this stand out to me and it's a brilliant option reducing that blandness created through other checkpoints that aim for the pixel perfect image. Kominoya is yet another art style that gives us a different design this time aiming for a comic book effect with extremely dark shadows venturing into black in some areas. And with highlights alongside that clean silhouette this could fit perfectly inside any comic book panel. On my character I received a more sketchy design and you can really see those dark shadows and lines pushing and pulling at the image and there's also a hard variation of the checkpoint for a stronger effect. And now we reach our final checkpoint, Cheems Burger which strikes this interesting balance between 3D shading that borders on semi realistic and this brighter more vibrant colour scheme that does a great job of capturing skin tones and hitting that strong contrast between light and shadow. On my own character we can see that colourful rim light around the hair and how the light interacts with the folds on the shirt 
where the skin is more visible in certain areas of the shirt than others, with the line work helping to define depth for a sharp, clean and detailed image. But no matter which one you choose, keep in mind that your prompts can edit, modify and ultimately change these checkpoints entirely, so don't feel scared to just run with the one you like and have fun experimenting. Let me know whether this video was useful in the comment section below and of course subscribe. This is Bite Size AI and I hope you enjoyed.